a few weeks ago my mp3 player got broke it was this mp3 player here and when you have followed my channel you will have seen it many times so i needed another one and in the meantime i've used an old telephone but i ordered uh, this beautiful board from tiny tronics in the netherlands it was very cheap um, it also had <coughs> a remote control here of course the board is made in china etc etc uh, i will switch off the voltage now because i hear sound on the background anyway um and there are say many good properties regarding this board for instance in fact too many anyway um, it has an USB input a card input it has a remote control here that remote control here is that uh, USB input here is the card input so you can push in the card and I have especially asked uh, on the website of Tinytronics uh, I needed um, a unit that when I push in a card or an USB stick the uh, music must be say immediately uh, played and it works that way that was very good uh, but of course there, there's a lot of functionality here mode uh, equalizer etc etc so um, let me show the schematic first before diving too deep in this board out of China so I think this is uh, enough it is the TPA 3116 chip it is indicated as a 2 times 50 watt audio amplifier is that okay well I really don't know because I did not test it in that way I tested it uh, on say a few uh, specific uh, situations anyway uh, like I told USB input card input remote control audio line level in loudspeaker out line level out Bluetooth it's stereo and it also has an uh, FM radio you can see the FM antenna I hope it's visible and this is I think the Bluetooth antenna on whatever frequency it must be very high and of course many chips and uh, of course also many say protective measures built in into that chip I only needed say two simple loudspeakers so that's the way that I made it I also want to make it very small because I have so many uh, circuits built in the past uh, anyway want to keep it simple and small so this is my ID and solution at first I connected to the loudspeaker out a 10 ohm 10 watt resistor and in that lead the loudspeaker for the uh, left channel and for the right channel that's here and you can via a switch switch the loudspeaker on or off you can say uh, shortcut the loudspeaker here and shortcut the loudspeaker here and it means that the the board the amplifier only sees that 10 ohm 10 watt resistor that's good always good uh, with such a such a load in fact nothing can go wrong in such a in a certain way very very elaborated board with a small computer here etc etc 
effect you have for that uh, tiny amount, say 18 euros or 20 euros or 20 dollars, an enormous advantage chip. Um, I'm more or less sure that it is a class D amplifier. Um, say that's a kind of digital amplification of audio signals. I cannot go too deep on that. Um, there's much more information about class D amplifiers on the World Wide Web and on my YouTube channel. I've never published a class D amplifier. Only class A and <coughs> sorry, uh, class B and class AB. And it means in this case that uh, you perhaps really can get out 50 watt audio. Though there are, say, some things to tell. Uh, the first thing, to, important thing to tell is that the loudspeaker, as far as I could see, with its minus, so now it's only here, these two simple loudspeakers, but when you have, when you have say, big loudspeaker boxes, uh, the minus of the loudspeaker is not connected to mass ground. So that's the reason why you see here uh, this part of the wiring. Minus does not go to ground and that is say in more or less classical audio analog amplifiers often, not always, but often the case. But here we have to do with a class D amplifier and anyway, I don't have the schematic. so. That also means uh, for a better, say, study of the schematic, this could be made in an other way. I don't know that exactly, but the most important thing is that the loudspeakers are not connected to mass and minus. And when you buy this chip and think, well, let me connect the loudspeakers for 50 watt or so to the minus, uh, that could go very, very wrong. Could also be that the board, the chip, uh, uh, gets into a, a, a mode where it doesn't work any longer and after that when you connect the power supply again the whole thing works again, so a kind of safety mode. but. Anyway, it could also be that the chip will be directly um, uh, directly not working anymore, so damaged. And when you look at the underside of this board, you can see a kind of warning. I think it has to do with this issue. I don't know that anyway. Uh, such a chip can be used in a very, very proper way. So, uh, again, uh, here is the USB stick. When you stick it in, it will start to, the, the amplifier will start to work. Let me demonstrate it. I have connected my scope and also found, for instance, that it is very, it works between 12 volt and 22 volts that is told in the, the data sheet. But on 12 volt it surely did not work. That's what I have tested. And here you see the scope at the moment there are music is amplified anyway. Well uh, so important things Loudspeakers not not connected to mass minus and don't connect them. The mass is here going out of this point of the board ground. That's here, here now. Ground is going from ground here to the mass connection out, and that's here. So here we have the left audio signal out. The right audio signal out 
here's the mask and I have by purpose used two 1k resistors here you can see them here because of that warning on the back side of that uh, Chinese board say to prevent a more or less high current in the earth uh, connections etc etc so that's a kind of way to um, work with such a amplifier board and is it really uh, 50 50 watt out well I don't know you can test it I'm always interested in your results and when such uh, when you do a test and such a board burns out also no problem uh, because then you know the say the critical factors of such a board anyway the music that I'm playing is all copyright free I've asked for a audio amp that immediately starts to work when I push in the USB I do that now let's try and see if it works push it in now so yeah yes it works that's very good and now switch on the loudspeakers It's the waveform at the moment. Looks like a lot of noise. In reality, no. There's not so much noise there. I have to lift up the audio level a little bit. And the good thing is that, that there is also a uh, certain way to influence the sound with the equalizer. So I think that was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching. What you have heard now is the sound coming out of these three electrodes left right and mass so it's a very useful chip and you can surely do your own experiments with it trying to get really 50 watt out of this Happy fire.